On a sunny day, you might mistake the water in Lake Michigan for the Caribbean. Looks can be deceiving. Besides the way light reflects off the water, there are things in the water that contribute to its color, including an invasive species of mussels, which consume microorganisms in the lake. By doing that, they're making the water clear. The mussels can also play a role in the fluctuation of the chemical phosphorus. Phosphorus is a key part of a healthy aquatic ecosystem because it impacts the growth of phytoplankton. That's the base of the aquatic food chain. In some areas, there's not enough phosphorus to promote a healthy fishery. In others, there's too much phosphorus. So if we don't have the base strong, the subsequent value chain is compromised. Material science and engineering researcher Vinayak Dravid is working on a solution. So this is a sustainable recovery and reuse approach. He says this sponge, the same one that you might throw out after using it in your kitchen, can be reused to reduce phosphate levels in bodies of water. That same sponge can be wrung out and the phosphate simply redeposited elsewhere. We call it a nanoscale solution to a gigaton problem. Though it's small, the sponge is reusable. And for cleaning up big oil spills, just one pad can recover a thousand times its own weight. Dravid's lab is commercializing the technology. Back on the lakes, climate change is altering water temperatures, ice covers, and nutrient runoff. Scientists say they're an experiment in process. So the next time you admire the blueness of Lake Michigan, never judge the book by the cover, all the cliches apply. Know that the problem is fixable. Most important is the recognition that we live in the ecosystem and and that's something that we need to have a perfect balance to get it right.